everybody welcome back today we're going to be working on the uh 2013 cts coupe with the 3.6 again today we're going to be giving her a tune-up uh not a full tune-up where you go out and change out all the uh, ignition coils at the same time uh they rarely fail so i don't really never i never see the, the need to do that uh we're going to change the spark plugs though we're at about one hundred and fifty thousand miles and so definitely want to go ahead and get those changed out uh, I do have the spark plugs right here. These are the iridiums. Um, and as you can see in the manual, oh, in the manual, in the uh, owner's manual, that is, for the 3.6, which what we have, the gap should be uh, 0 0.043. And so I have my gapping tool. I have these. Well, we're going to make sure they're all gapped properly. And uh, we have our NTCs to put on the threads before we put it in as well. And we have my magnet tool to be able to pull the spark plug from out of there once I loosen it up. And I have my uh, spark plug uh, um, socket. And so let's get started on this. First thing we're going to need to do is remove the cover. Uh, we're also going to remove these plastic pieces on the side as well. And whatever else we need to do along the way, we will do it. All right, so here we are on the passenger side. So here are our three spark plugs we're gonna to need to remove. Well, you'll see the ignition coil that is. One here, one here, and one back here. And so they're pretty easy to get to. Uh, the driver side, uh, we're on the driver side if I said passenger, but passenger side is gonna take a little bit more, but not much. Um, this uh, PVC holes over here, let's go ahead and take that off move it over to the side so we have a clear access to it other than that you really don't have to take anything off on this side you do want to get your 10 millimeter which i didn't mention earlier to be able to take the bolt out on here to be able to get the uh, spark plug the uh, ignition coil out real easy The uh, ignition coil over here, so I already got the bolt off the rear one and the one in the front. The one in the middle is beneath this bar. I don't want to take this bar off because it's kind of right behind there, so I'm just going to use uh, this 10 millimeter to do it. So it's short enough to get underneath, and I like it because it, this one has a little swivel on it. So I can get underneath. And there's the third one. Now you don't always have to remove the cord, the uh, cord from the ignition coil to take it out. Uh, a lot of times you're able to just pull on it. To get it on out of there. But if you do need to take it out, just take your flathead or sometimes your finger to pull it. You see this white part right here? You just want to extend that out. You see that, how it moved out a bit? And now at that point, you can apply pressure down on there to be able to take the cord, take that plug off. And now you can take her out. And I'll do those for the other two as well.
All right, time to get the spark plug out. And for that, you either want to daisy chain a couple of uh, extensions together or do a long enough one to get down in there. Magnet. And there is the old spark plug. So we're going to move the other two from this side next. Here's number two. There's number three. All right, I want to go over a little education on gapping. So there's different tools out there. These are This is the one I'm going to use. As you can see, that little edge on the end is where you're going to use the gapping for do your capping. And what you want to do, you don't want to apply pressure on that tip. You see that little tip down there? You leave that alone. This is the part that you're going to move up here. You're either moving it closer or further away. So when you put this in there, you're either going to apply pressure that way to move it away, not using that as your, uh, as your leverage, of course. And then if you need to move it forward, you can put it down on the surface and push down on it just slightly to get it to where you need to be at. All right, now that you have your spark plugs gap, what you want to do is take some of your uh, NTCs and put it on the threads not a lot just a little do not get it over in this area at all it's just going back here on the thread area and don't kink it all on just put on just enough and so you want to do that and another thing that i like to do as well is take some dielectric grease and i like to put a dab on the inside too this will really help out because these will be on there for years probably before you change the spark plugs again and with all that heat cooling down um, the usage that it get they can become seized to your spark plug putting a little dielectric grease not only helps for to be able to remove it but it just helps out with that whole electrical connection between there too as well between the spark plug and the ignition coil all right so the next thing we're going to do is take our spark plug 
and lower it down up in there. You don't want to just drop it in there because you don't want to change your gap size when it hits down there at the bottom. So just take it, lower it down there, use your finger to help push it off of there. And then, no power tools, people. Please, none. Then just carefully thread it in by hand to make sure you're not cross-threading. And then at that point, I go, and then the moment I feel that, that real resistance right there, where I just hit it at that point, then I just give it a little extra snug past that. You see, that wasn't much. Don't crank down on your spark plug. At that point, take your ignition coil and you wanna just slide it back in. Remember, you got your dielectric grease on there. Just put it back in there. And one little thing I didn't say before, what you should do before you start, before you take anything out, uh, get some air, get, hopefully you got like a air compressor or something, and spray it all off with for air to get all the debris off before you start taking your uh, ignition coils off because if you have sand, debris, other dirt, when you take this off, that's gonna fall down in there. So when you take your uh, spark plug out, then that debris will fall down into there where your combustion chamber is at, and that's what you definitely don't want to happen. Put the plug back on, push back up the white clip. Take your screw, your bolt that is, and screw it back in there. Now we're going to do the other two. All right, now that we button up the driver's side, now we want to do the passenger side. And over here is a little bit more to do, but not much. Um, the front um, ignition coil and spark plug is easy to get to and get out. And the rear one is as well. No issues there. The only one is, is the middle one. Uh, let me see if I can get you a good shot here. So let's go from this way. Here is the uh, bar up top. We're looking towards the rear of the car. And you see this right here? This will need to come out right here because it's right over the ignition coil. So you won't be able to take it out. No big deal. We're just going to remove this 10 millimeter uh, bolt right here. And this will move this right out of the way. And then you also have this tube right here that's running directly across all of the ignition coils. All you need to do is come back here. Let's see here, right, let me see if I can move that out of the way. All right, you see this right here? That's the two, That's the end of the tube. Just take that, pop it off, and move, and move this out of your way. And as you can see now, it's not over your ignition coils, and you can easily get those out of there. All right, so let's get started. So you already know how to do it because once you do one, they're all the same. So instead of showing you this one and the back one, because those are real simple, no issues there, I'll show you the middle one because of this unit right here. All right, so this right here is just a 10 millimeter bolt. All right, so now that I've loosened it up, Now, I'm gonna just pop it out of there. I think I need to do that a little bit more.
There we go. See that? And now, so it's just one bolt and it just pops out. And now look, now you have full access to this ignition coil. There we go. All right, as you can see, I put my swivel on here now. And now we'll go down up in there. No problem there now this time. plug out of there. You can lower it down with the magnet, or you can just use your finger to apply pressure, if you have long fingers like me, to the side wall and slide it down up in there. And again, no power tools. I made sure to put some dielectric grease in there. I don't want to slide it back in before pushing it down. I'm going to take the cord and snap it back into place. Push that back up all the way. Now push it down up in there.
this here, stick it back in there, seat it in there properly, just slides right in. Now, after you change out all your spark plugs, you want to remember to come back here and take this end of the hose and put it back on that little nub right there. Lock it back in place. All right, so now that you're all done putting all the spark plugs back in, putting your ignition coils back in and making sure all your tubes are hooked back up, now you just want to start her up to make sure she actually sounds like she's not missing or anything. All right, so that's how you do a tune-up on a uh, Cadillac CTS. It doesn't matter if it's the coupe or the sedan. If it's a 3.6, the procedure is still the same. Um, thanks for joining. Please hit that like button and definitely hit that subscribe button and check out some of my other YouTube videos out there uh, working on my CTS coupe. Thanks a lot.